Hey, I'm Spencer from Costado Film Academy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a slate. Well, what even is a slate, and why do we even need to use it? So right here, we pretty much have a basic slate that would be on any film set. So at the top here, you're going to have your white balance bars that you use to white balance. Underneath is going to be the production name, then the role, scene, and take number. Then you're going to write down the director's name and the camera, or the DP's name. Then you're going to have the date, if it's day or night, or interior or exterior, and if you're using a filter, or if there's no sound or not. So most of the things on here are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go through the three main ones that you're going to need to know. That's roll, scene, and take. First is roll. That's the card number. You're going to write down the card number. So if you're on an extended shoot, we're going to have multiple cards. You're going to want to write them down so they don't get confusing. Next, you're going to write down the scene number. If you don't know what the scene is, it's probably important to ask your script supervisor. So one thing we should know about the scene number is that it's split up into two different sections. The actual number and the letter. So the number stands for what scene you're on and the letter stands for what camera movement you're on. So for example, if you're doing a scene with two different people talking and you have two cameras, the first camera will be 10A and the second camera will be 10B. Lastly, you're going to have the take number. The take number is pretty much just what take you're on in the scene. Now that we know everything that needs to go onto the slate, let's get into how to actually use it. So one of the first things you're going to need to know is when to actually come into the scene to mark the slate. So you're going to listen for the first AD or the director to call out your name. So once you're called onto the scene, you're going to want to step in front of the camera with the slate. Make sure the slate is fully in the frame and in focus. Then, you're going to want to hold it up and say your mark. Scene 10 alpha, take 1, mark. And it's that easy. So that's how you mark it. Now you noticed I said scene 10 alpha instead of scene 10 A. The reason I used alpha is because sometimes when saying the letters they can get confusing and they sound much like numbers. So, we have a bunch of different code names for different letters. So A would be alpha, B would be bravo, and C would be charlie. And since we're on this topic, there's some letters that you're going to want to not write down on the slate. That's I, O, and Z. We do this because they look very much like numbers. Just make sure you don't write those down. So the next term you should know is soft sticks. We use soft sticks when there's a scene of a close-up or a very emotional scene that the actor is in. And we don't want to disturb their performance. So what you'll do is get into position, call soft sticks, and make sure you do it very softly. Scene 10 alpha, take one mark. And again, we use the soft sticks when the slate is very close to the actor's face or they're trying to perform a very emotional scene. We don't want to distract them. Next, let's talk about tail slating. In some situations, you're not going to be able to slate at the beginning of the scene. And you're going to have to do it at the end. In that situation, after the director calls cut, you're going to want to yell out tail slate so that no one stops recording. Then hop into the camera frame, make sure everything's in focus, flip your board upside down, and say your mark. Scene 10 alpha, take one, mark and flip it back up. Next, let's talk about MOS. MOS is when there's no audio for that scene. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is circle the MOS down here and hold the slate just like this with your hands between the clapper. And that will indicate to the editor that there's no audio for that take. In a situation where there's multiple cameras, you're gonna to wanna to start with slating the first camera or camera A. So get into position and make sure the slate is in frame. Then you're just gonna mark the first camera. Scene 10 alpha, take one. Then, instead of saying scene and take for the other two cameras, you're just going to want to say camera B mark or camera C mark. So that pretty much sums it up for you guys. But I'm going to talk about one last tip. Sometimes when you're using a marker, it can get erased pretty easily. So what you're going to want to do is take gaffer's tape, put it over where it says production, and all the main areas that aren't going to be changed throughout the production. You're going to want to write those down so that nothing changes. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave a comment on what you guys want to see next because we're going to be posting weekly videos about filmmaking. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe.